So it's kind of a late start to our morning. It is 10.07 and I'm barely picking up the camera. So today I have to go and get groceries because we're pretty much all out of everything. So I'm gonna make a list of what I'm making. I have my pen over here. And I thought I would kind of show you how I do it. So I have this little um, like planner calendar that I use. It's this one here. It's really cute. And so what I do is, um, my hair's a mess. I go to the month. What are we in? March. Basically the end of March. And so I kind of I do them like for a week. So what I do is I'll kind of like how I did last week. I'll just write what I plan on making. And then once I have everything that I want to make, I will, like on the next page or so, I will, like what did I do? I got one. Kind of like this, I will just write, like I'll start writing my list and what I need to make the meals that I wrote. I don't know if that kind of makes sense. So, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so what I have so far, I have salmon and salad with veggies. I bought um, a big filet of salmon last week and I froze half of it, so I'll have enough for this meal. Then I have some lemon pepper chicken with roasted potatoes and carrots. The girls love the potatoes and carrots. Um, tostadas is one of my easy meals that we just do. The tostada with like sour cream, turkey avocado, and cheese. And it sounds weird, but they're so good. Um, and then I have teriyaki chicken with roasted veggies. I will typically roast um, purple onion, zucchini, and uh, bell peppers. And then just leave that in the oven to go and the chicken comes out so easy in the sauce. And then I have a vodka sauce pasta, which is really good. And then we'll probably go out on Friday. And then I still need to see what I do Saturday, but I might just see if we have leftovers um, from any other day. And we'll have them that day. So that's pretty much what I do. Um, and then I'll just, what's it called, um, make my list of the things that I need. I think I already have um, a pretty big pack of chicken breast in the freezer. So I won't have to buy like a whole new one of those. So I, I tend to, well now I tend to buy like bigger packs of meat just because I can kind of cut them up into the portions that I need. If I have too much of something, I'll just put it in a freezer bag, put it in the freezer. And then I have it, I have enough for the next meals. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do for my meals this week. And I still need to kind of see what I'm gonna do today because I have no idea. It's kind of hard when we go to the gym, which I'm not sure if we're gonna go today or if we're gonna skip today. It's really windy and kind of ugly weather, but we'll probably go, but. I don't know, it's still kind of up in the air. Um, it's always kind of hard to plan what I'm going to make on days that, we, that we, we go to the gym because we come back and it's kind of like, okay, let's hurry up so I can make dinner while Daniela's working on her homework and then we put the girls down to bed at around 8 o'clock. So by the time that we get back from the gym, it's almost 6, so we have like kind of like limited time to, to, to get everything done that we need. Um, and then it sucks because it's still like bright out since the daylight saving so it's like you kind of want to do more but it's like well no because we still have like our schedule of things that have to get done before then but I tend to kind of pick what's going to be easiest or I'll leave something marinating while we're gone like like the chicken and I'll cut them in really thin slices that way they don't take very long to cook roasted veggies really only need about 20 minutes um so it's I try to make it as easy as I can on days that we're going to go to the gym. That way I'm not wasting too much time cooking when I could be, you know, spending it with my husband and the girls. So I've just been kind of hanging out with Gabby. Um, I haven't done much since I last vlogged. But, um, oh my god, I lost my train of thought. So I just finished cleaning up the kitchen, which finally I cleaned the whole kitchen. So it's nice and... And again, I just got to put those dishes away and throw the towels out. But it's nice and clean again. So now all I got to do left here is just clean the fridge because you can see all the little the little handprints. Um, so I got to do that. 
And then I gotta put my little tray that I keep on the little corner back on here. But yeah, and I got my kitchen clean. I was talking to my mom for a while and cleaned while I talked. Hi guys, so I didn't end up going to do all my grocery shopping yet, but I did go to Target and just picked up a couple of things that I needed just to get really quickly for the next couple days. Probably until I go tomorrow to the grocery store and actually get everything else I need. So I figured I would just kind of show you what I got. So I got, we'll start with here. I got two half gallons of milk. We drink the lactose free. Um, Dan got some Gatorades for his workout. So I'm gonna try to do this apple cider vinegar thing again, even though it, I find it completely disgusting. But I know that it's good for you, but I'm gonna try to mix it with cranberry juice, which I do actually really like. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it kind of masks a little bit of the flavor of this, which it's so gross. And then I got the Starbucks Caramel Macchiato, which is my favorite for when I just want a nice coffee and I, or when I just need coffee now and it's just quick and easy. We got some strawberry lemonade juice. And then we got these oatmeal squares cereal with a hint of cinnamon. Haven't tried these before, but they look kind of good. We'll see, hopefully they are good. Some Honey Nut Cheerios for the girls and for us. Some eggs. So they are on sale at Target for 99 cents for 18 eggs. So I got two. We don't really use eggs that much, but it's a really good deal still. We got this granola. It's the cacao and cashew butter. Never tried it, but it looks pretty good. And then Dan got these breakfast squares that he takes um, for breakfast at work. And he likes these. Some bread, because we were all out. Just the whole grain. Or what's that? 15 grains. Avocados. Um, we always need to have avocados. And we do we have... I think two left in our bowl, so we got more. And they're pretty green, so it'll take a couple days to ripe. Then Dan wanted this trail mix, sweet Cajun. And then I got some Mickey Mouse waffles for the girls. And then these, they're called pancake puffs. And I got banana and original. These are really good. Like even I like them and they're, the banana, I, I haven't tried these, but the banana ones, they're already kind of sweet in my opinion, so you don't really need, um, syrup and then you just you can either heat them up in the microwave or you, you can bake them which when I made them I baked them I feel like they just kind of taste but you know better than the microwave so I got two of these for just like a quick little snack for like a nap or after breakfast if she's still kind of hungry I'll just kind of put a couple of these for um, Dani or Gabby to eat and then we got some mini peppers these are good just for like a little snack something crunchy to munch on and yeah that's basically all we got so I will hopefully tomorrow go and finish and get all of our actual groceries because we still need more produce and fruits and some more meats but yeah that's all we got for now at Target and I managed to just go and strictly get this and not go look at other stuff that I don't need oh we got water too but that's in the garage but yeah so that is my little mini Target haul and I'll see you later. Good morning. It is what day is today? Wednesday. I look really tore up. But I just finished having some breakfast. I gave Danny um my god. Gabby. Do you guys confuse your kids' names? I swear I do all the time. I call one the other one's name and so on. So I gave her some uh, Mickey Mouse waffles and she had that with some milk and then I got that cereal that I bought yesterday at Target the oatmeal horse it's really good actually and it's really filling I had maybe about a cup of cereal um, with maybe about half a cup of milk I didn't add too much milk and it was really good I thought that it was maybe gonna taste I I, I don't know what I thought it was gonna taste like actually, but I was really impressed um, and I liked it. But now I need coffee and I'm debating if I wanna actually make a coffee. 
or just get some of the ice. So I ordered um, some sheets off of Amazon on, what's today, Wednesday, Sunday, I believe. And they just got here. So I'm hoping that they're good. Where can I set you down? Let's scoot this over. Let's see. I've never ordered um, sheets from the Can you go finish cleaning up the playroom, please? She makes like the biggest mess and then doesn't want to ever clean anything up. So I ordered just these gray sheets. And this brand, Milani. I think that's what it is those and there was really good reviews so they're electric linens 1800 brushed microfiber it says extra soft wrinkle resistant and deep pockets so so you have a no that's weird so hopefully they're nice all the reviews were really good um and they said that they get even better with the wash oh they're soft I ordered them in gray, but they look a little, almost like green. <laughs> Actually, on camera, they look more gray than they do in person. That's weird. Hey guys, so we just got back from the gym, and I'm going to make some quick dinner. I'm just getting a, what is this, a pot of water to boil for pasta. I got this cute little salt container at Target and it comes with like a little spoon. It's really cute. Um, so I'm just going to salt the water. So today was kind of a sucky day at the gym because I have no energy and didn't want to be there really. Did you have fun? Yes. Yes. The girls had fun playing. But yeah, so I'm just going to make a quick pasta because that will be easy. Um, and so I'm going to do some, what is this, ziti with a we watch. Mm, yeah, okay. with some vodka sauce. And then add just like a little bit of parmesan on top. And that's, that'll just be really quick, a quick dinner. Mm -hmm. Um, that way we can eat quickly and do whatever else we need to do. So this is the sauce that I'm using. I normally, if I've gone to Trader Joe's, I'll use the Trader Joe's brand. But this one's also really good. So just really easy. Just ZD that. And then I'll put some of them. Where is it? I have this parm. Just like this little shredded Parmesan cheese that we'll put on top. And that tastes really good. So I will show you what it looks like when it is done. So this is what it looks like. Done. So yummy.